when I um, left school, I studied makeup artistry and I didn't really do very much with that qualification. Um, that was nearly 30 years ago. So there wasn't a lot out there. Um, and then when I had my fourth child, I was looking to, I worked, I actually had a role in the finance sector um, and I was on maternity leave um, from my third child when I had him. Uh, and I just um, needed to find something that was going to work better with our family. We had four small children and it was just not going to manage, I wasn't going to manage a 40 hour a week office job. Yeah. Um, so I refreshed my qualifications and I started Black Lash Makeup. Um, and I built that business up. I did some hair qualifications two years into that journey because I realized that there were lots of people who just really wanted one person to do both. Um, and then at the end of 2022, um, the Lip Lab went up for sale uh, and I had already started. I do a lot of private lessons in the makeup artistry side. Um, and most of the time when I was educating people, they would say to me, you know, if you just had the products to buy from you, I would just get it from you rather than you telling me what to get at Mecca. Mm. Um, so I'd started sort of thinking to myself, how can I create a white label product that's just some basics that people can put in their kit so that when I'm teaching them what to do on a day-to-day -day basis, they have something that they can trust and use. Um, and then saw that the Lip Lab was for sale and just thought straight away, that's for me, that's, I need to do that. Um, and so, yeah, and so we purchased the business in March last year. Um, and since then, it's just been an absolute roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. So how? What? talk to me about the buying the business process, because we talk a lot about starting a business. Yes, yeah. yeah. But not a lot about buying into something that's already established. What was that process like? And what pitfalls should we be aware of? <laughs> wow, so many. Um, I think, do you know what? Like it's so funny, isn't it? Because we always we always say you don't know what you don't know. And I think in buying a business, like that has never been more apparent to me. Um, I am a very trusting person. So whilst I don't sort of classify myself as a stupid person. I also don't think that people are going out of their way to deceive me or to mm. do things that are not in my best interest. Um, so there were quite a few things that probably didn't go to plan or were omitted. And in in fairness, that was as much because we didn't know to ask the right questions. Yeah, yeah. Um, there were a couple of things that we did. We hired a lawyer at the time to go through all the contracts and the lease and all the rest of it. Um, but there were a few things that the lawyer probably said, oh, I would do this that we ignored because we were like, oh, well, they, they're not, you know, trying to do anything untoward. They're not trying to do anything that would be negatively impacting me um so yeah so <laughs> my joke is like if you hire a lawyer like just do what they tell you to do <laughs> yeah. isn't it funny how we bring in these experts and then we yeah. don't listen to what they tell us to absolutely. do absolutely I mean but like it's so funny because so often I think about when I'm doing someone's makeup or I'm teaching them or I'm doing like a bride and like you will give them advice and then they don't do it and you're like yeah well what I told you to do like but it was the same it was the shoe was on the other foot wow isn't yeah. that funny why do we do this to ourselves I don't we know think we know better <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah wow. so I just think like it's probably like you know do get um experts to help you like in the in if you've never done it before absolutely like I've learned a lot um, so yeah, so definitely heed the advice of the experts that you hire, I think would be my number one tip and don't necessarily go into agreements thinking that people, and I'm like, I'm not saying like that they're, they are like definitely trying to do something bad by you, but like they are, they're looking after themselves, right? Yeah, exactly. That's actually a really good way to put it. It's not that they're particularly malice. It's yes. that- they want to get the best outcome for them. Correct. You know, it's no longer their business. Yeah. That's, that is really good advice actually.